Do you hear me? Yes, can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, we're gonna start with Thad. Hey, Justin, Thad Brown, uh, congrats on the win, man. Um, just talk about the last play. You know, what are you looking at? You know, obviously Newton's been running down the field a lot in that drive, but what, from your point of view, how did that happen? Yeah, so we uh, had a late uh, slide of the line um, and they just ran it uh, outside away from me. And uh, I was just hustling down the line and I saw um, kind of like a pile of our uh, guys and I ran over the top of it just as I could see him about to cut it up. So it was kind of perfect timing that right as he cut through the hole, I was running full speed uh, sideways at him and I just took a punch at the ball and uh, knocked it out. What's the feeling? Not only obviously a big play to win a game, but for you, you know, a guy who's been bouncing around pro football for a long time to make such a key play in such a big game for this team. I mean, it's a great feeling. Uh, as soon as I turned around, I wasn't 100% sure I knocked it out. So as soon as I turned around and saw that I did get it out, uh, it was just, pure uh, excitement, honestly. I didn't know what to think. I was just so happy um, that I made a big play for this team. You know, um, I had had some plays earlier in the game I wanted to take back. And so to uh, make a play like that to finish out the game was um, huge for me. How badly did this defense need that play? You know, obviously you guys had given up a touchdown on the last drive and, and were, you know, giving up yardage on this drive too. But to make a play to finish off a game, you know, how bad did you need it in that spot? Yeah, I mean, it was a huge play for sure. Um, they were driving down. They were uh, in field goal range, so um, they were going to be able to kick it or they still had some time left. You know, they could possibly score. So um, to knock it out right there and end the game was uh, great. Thanks, Justin. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Justin, Matt Bove here with WKBW. Congrats on the win. You know, I think when we spoke to you a couple weeks ago, you said you needed to make the plays once you've got the opportunity to play, and you just did that. So I guess what are the emotions like kind of realizing that? Um, I honestly, I don't know what to feel right now. I'm still just uh, like breathing heavy from the game, just excited. Um, it will probably take me a good 24 hours just to like realize kind of everything that happened. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just excited. What were your teammates saying after the play and then when you guys went up into the tunnel and into the locker room and whatnot? Uh, they were all just hugging me, congrats, uh, giving me congrats and huge play, things like that just really uplifted me. Uh, we got a great team around here, everybody. It's a tight-knit family. And uh, it was just great um, to do it as a team, honestly. I might have made the last play, but everybody played a big part in this. That one play didn't win us the game. It was the whole game did. And then this might be a little bit of a relative question, but this is the biggest play for you since when? Uh, probably ever, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't think I've – I thought it was going to be when we played KC and I forced that fumble that didn't end up happening. That was probably going to be the biggest play in my life just because I don't know if I've ever forced a fumble to end out a game. Um, and so this one would definitely be the biggest play I've made in my life. Thanks, man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Justin, Dan Fates up in Rochester. Obviously, we talked about what happened after the play, but what was the talk in the huddle as the Patriots are kind of marching down the field and you guys have been struggling to get a stop in the second half? Yeah, I mean, we're all, we all knew that it was a huge series for us and we had to make a play. So, you know, between the plays, we're all telling each other, you know, somebody's got to make a play. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, just make a play and end the game. I mean, obviously, I know you're new to Buffalo here, but this rivalry has you know, been dominated by the Patriots for 20 years. To make this play, I guess, what was the entire locker room like after the game? Uh, it was great. Uh, everybody was excited. We are playing music. Dudes were dancing. Everybody just having a good time. You know, it's a good team win, and we're going to enjoy it for sure. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Hey, Justin, how are you? Sal Capaccio, WGR Radio. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you thought about how much your professional and personal life has kind of changed so quickly here in the last several months? You go from, you know, a guy that gets drafted, gets, I mean, sorry, that gets signed, gets waived, gets brought back, you kind of up and down, and now you make what could be, you know, one of the bigger plays of the Buffalo Bills 2020 season. Yeah, I mean, I just take it one day at a time. Um, I think, honestly, maybe not having fans here makes it a little different. Like, it just seems like a, any other day for me. I don't feel like anything in my life's changed. Um, it's just, you know, coming to work every day, trying to get better. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to make the big play for our team today. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Justin. Um, congrats on the win. Uh, you know, you guys came out in the first half, and I'm sorry if this was already asked, I came in late, but 
you guys came out in the first half and you really shut them down in the run game, 44 yards. They seemed to get it going in the second half. What were they doing where they were able to have some success running against you guys? Um, honestly, that's a little bit more um, a coaching staff thing. Um, I know as D-line, we just had to stay in our gaps. Um, there's sometimes uh, there's some double teams. I know I could have played better. Um, I'm sure there's some other guys along the line. There's just different things that happen. Um, we just got to go back to work uh, this week, work on our fundamentals, and uh, shore up the run game for sure. Was there anybody that you can remember in the commotion, any moment with any teammate that stands out that came over to congratulate you uh, about that big play? Uh, not really. Once I got to the sideline, pretty much everybody was hugging me. I don't know even who did or who was first, who was last. It was just like a onslaught of everybody coming to congratulate me. Congrats, man. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. That's everyone. Thanks, Justin. Thank you.